to another episode of 5 Minutes Book Summary. Today we are going to explore the book, Why We're Polarized, by Ezra Klein. A comprehensive examination of the causes and consequences of political polarization in the United States. The author argues that polarization is not just a symptom of our political system, but is also driven by deeper societal and psychological factors. Some factors include, first, demographic changes. As the country becomes more diverse, people are more likely to sort themselves into homogeneous communities where they feel more comfortable with people who share their values and beliefs. This leads to increased political polarization as people are less likely to be exposed to different perspectives and ideas. Second, the rise of social media. Social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter have allowed people to form echo chambers where they are only exposed to information that confirms their existing beliefs. This has led to a breakdown in political compromise as people are less likely to be exposed to dissenting opinions. Third, identity politics. As people become more politically active and engaged, they tend to define themselves more by their identities such as race, gender, or sexual orientation. This leads to increased political polarization as people with different identities have different policy preferences and priorities. And regarding the role of political parties, Klein argues that the two-party system in the United States has become increasingly polarized as the parties have become more ideologically homogeneous. He contends that the parties have sorted themselves into teams that are increasingly hostile towards each other, which makes it difficult for politicians to cross party lines and work together. This leads to a lack of political compromise and a lack of progress on important policy issues. The media also plays a significant role in polarization. Klein argues that the media has become increasingly partisan with many news outlets catering to a specific ideological audience. This has led to a breakdown in the traditional role of the media as a neutral arbiter of information, and has instead contributed to the formation of echo chambers where people are only exposed to information that confirms their existing beliefs. Gerrymandering The manipulation of electoral district boundaries to benefit a particular party or group also plays a role in polarization. Klein argues that gerrymandering has led to a decrease in the number of competitive elections, which has led to a lack of accountability for politicians. It also leads to politicians being more responsive to their base and less responsive to the broader electorate, which contributes to the breakdown in political compromise. In addition to these factors, The book also examines the psychological and emotional effects of polarization on individuals, such as increased feelings of anger, anxiety, and mistrust. It shows how these emotions can further fuel polarization and make it even harder for individuals to see and understand different perspectives, leading to a vicious cycle of political division. The book concludes by offering some potential solutions to help reduce polarization, such as reforming the way elections are conducted, strengthening media literacy, and encouraging more civic engagement and dialogue. It suggests that reducing polarization will require a multifaceted approach that addresses the underlying societal and psychological factors that contribute to it. Overall, why we're polarized is an in-depth and thought-provoking examination of the causes and consequences of political polarization in the United States. It provides a comprehensive and nuanced analysis of the complex factors that contribute to polarization and offers potential solutions for addressing this pressing issue.